Just going to do a quick video on how to organize your business and your life using the Kindle Scribe. This is a great device. I absolutely love it. So let's dive in. So here are all my planners on the Kindle Scribe. You can download all the planners from the website. I'll drop the link in the description below. So let's just open that. And here we are. Okay. So I just want to show you um, the menu for the Kindle Scribe. Let's start by showing you how to navigate your planner and how to get you know, to certain pages of the planner. So you do that by pressing this little icon here, this little hand icon, and then you can navigate through all the pages like this using the tabs, which are all hyperlinked. And then if you want to go to a particular day or week, you just press on the date and that will take you, go back here, to every day or week and then also you can navigate by just turning the pages like this so that's how you navigate the planner then if you want to write you can press here fountain pen felt tip pencil I really like the fountain pen it makes your writing look really nice and then this is the eraser this is the lasso tool and again there's the navigation so let's write something here So that's how you write. And then if you wanted to copy that and move it somewhere else, you can just use the lasso tool, circle it like this, and then copy it like that. And then just place your pen somewhere else. And there you go. It's copied it to wherever you wanted to. And you can copy that to any page of your planner. Just delete that now. So this copy function is so useful if you've got some recurring things. So with my habits here, I've got, you know, my, my five habits here, take vitamins, five minutes of daily planning. I can literally copy that to the next month. So let's just do that now. So I just press the lasso tool, press the copy icon. Then I navigate to where I want to go in the planner. So let's just go to the next month, February. Then I press this copy icon here and then here we go. Isn't that cool? So it saved me from having to write it all over again. Let's just show you how to use the eraser. There we go. So it's really easy and it's very, very responsive. I'm really impressed with this device. So now I'd just like to walk you through the planner and show you how you can use a planner on your Kindle Scribe to get organized. So this is um, a business planner. It can be used for business and it can just be used as a planner because it's got everything on here. And if you don't want to use a bit, you just don't, don't use it. So let's just go take you through the section. So it's all got all the months down, down here and then all the different sections here. So this is um, a section on how you use the planner. And then this is a section about designing your life. And then you've got your 2025 bucket list. And then we get into the business plan. You can write a really detailed plan here and it gives you instructions how to use it. It's very, very comprehensive. And then we get to the marketing plan, the yearly project planner, the finance plan. And then there's a section at the back for um, notes, lots of notes. And also space for contacts at the back. I'm going to show you the system now. So at the beginning of every month, you have a space for your main focus and then your six main goals here. So I'm just going to write my goals here. So once I've written those goals, I'm going to write a list of all the projects that I need to do in order to accomplish those goals. I'm also going to write a priority number by each item and then also write how long I think it's going to take and who's going to do it. Now in the planner here we've got also got a social media content planner so if you're you know if you're a business and you're planning your social media there's space here to do something every day of the month. Put the content of what you're doing here and then what sort of form it's going to take whether it's going to be a blog, a video, across here you've got a text post, podcast, infographic and then you just put what the, whatever the call to action is going to be, whether it's, you know, selling something or signing up for something. And then here you put in whatever platform you're going to post it on, like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever here. OK, and then you can then add that into your schedule as well for the month. So let's step into now to the weekly, how you're going to plan your week and your days. So this is how the weekly and daily planner works. Every week you've got an inspirational quote here 
There's plenty of space here for note taking, telephone numbers, anything you want to write here, shopping lists, etc. Then you've got your regular action here. These are things that you do every week, non-negotiables. It could be planning, it could be checking your finances, writing a blog post. And this is where you list all your projects for the week. These are all the things that you need to, in order to achieve those goals that you set at the beginning of the month. And then here's space here for your three non-negotiable things you're gonna do in that day. And then you schedule it in here. So let's just, let's just show you how we do that. And then let's go through the day here. So I'm just going to write the three things that I need to do to get that completed. Okay. And, and then I can write it into my plan here. So this time is my morning routine. It takes me to eight o'clock. Then I'm going to start with listing new services. And then I'm going to just schedule the rest of the day. Now, at the end of the week, we've got a weekly review, so you can record how many sales you made, how you grew your social media, what achievements you made, what worked, what didn't, what goals didn't you achieve, what you need to achieve those goals next week, and there's a space here for gratitude as well. Also, at the end of the week, we've got a great big space here for um, ideas and inspiration, mind mapping. You can use this for whatever you like, for jotting down notes, phone numbers, anything you want. Loads of space there. So that's the planner and it works really, really well on Kindle Scribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.